Hey YouTube fans and people of the interwebs, it's me, Soundwave SG1, coming at cha for a captain's log. Yes, a captain's log. I haven't done one of these in a while, a good while. Because, yeah, I've not had the... There are two things, really. One, I've not had the incl inclination, I can't speak, inclination to do a video. Secondly, YouTube keeps, for some reason, uh, locking me out my own account. Which is uh, fucking bullshit. Because since the fucking you've got to link it to a Google Chrome account, I can't log into my own fucking thing anymore. Which is fucking bullshit. You know. Um, what else? Yes, on a lighter side. Um, ten days to auto assembly. Oh my lord, it's going to be awesome. Fucking hell, since I've been listening to the old oil house, all I do now is oh my lord. Thanks, Stu. Thanks, Dark Ages. Thanks for that. Um, it was my birthday on Saturday. Saturday just gone. I got fucking so drunk I can't remember. I must have drank an insane amount of alcohol before I left. B before I got home, you know. Uh, met a few people in town. Had a couple. Um, had a couple in dram shop, and then headed towards Spiders. I remember walking with Mike to Spiders. I remember walking in the building and meeting everybody up at the our spot and that's it I don't remember a single femtosecond after that after me getting there I looking on my phone today and I found photos that I took which I can't remember taking at all you know and uh, a friend of mine Roger thanks Roger took a great picture of me pissed up Fucking asleep in spiders. Fucking marvellous. So cheers for that. So yeah. Um, what else? Still unemployed. Yeah. Still very, very, very single. I've discovered I'm actually girl kryptonite. You know. I now have the ability of breaking up with somebody and not actually meeting them. So that's new. Um. But anyway, on the lighter side, it's going through some shit in my, in my wardrobe. It's like waist deep full of crap. And I mean just shit. And I threw fucking bin bags of shit away. Just old magazines, bits of paper and fucking old trading cards. Although I did find a full set of the Tick trading cards that I bought. I think 2003 I think I bought them. Spoon! Which Townsend Coleman, the, the legend that is Townsend Coleman, uh, wish me happy birthday on Facebook, as well do, as well as Paul Arden, wish me happy birthday. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Made me squee in the middle of town, which is which is, which is great. Um, yeah, so something to get signed. Um, what else? Oh yeah, you may have seen the pictures on Facebook, but I found a fucking full unopened bottle of whiskey, and this is Scotch whiskey, because Scotch whiskey spelt without an e. So, and it's, it's rather nice actually. Um, I've just went to the shop, bought some cookie cooler, so I have uh, whiskey and a coke. So nice. Ah, got a real nice taste actually, it's real nice. I'm not a big spirity drinker, but on occasion, I do like a, you know, a wee, a wee sniff of that. Um, a wee sniff of whiskey every once in a while. And it's great if you've got a cold. And you know when you've got a real barking cough, you take a shot of whiskey, it'll take that edge off it. You know the kind of cough that you can't stop coughing and keeps you awake at night? Have a slug of whiskey, knocks it straight off. But at least takes the irritation out a little bit. Because it really gets you a bit pissed, so you know, it's all good. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, that's it, really. You know, nothing, I haven't bought anything, really. Um... Oh yeah, the reason why I'm not showing a birthday haul is because I asked for cash and it's all gone into my auto assembly fund. So, yes, I got a fuckload of money for my birthday and uh, it's all gone into the uh, kitty. Um, so, yes, like I said, I've not, not bought anything. Well, well I am... Um, all I'm buying at the minute is comics. Um, I am buying... I'm reading AVX at the moment, it's very good, I highly recommend you picking it up. Um, some of these use up to the third and fourth printing of them, you know, 
it's fantastic. It really is good. It's just you know versus comic. You know you can't you know go wrong. And it's got this um, this sort of augmented reality thing on it, um, which is a bit weird. Really, it's kind of like a DVD commentary in a comic book. It's a bit strange. Um, you get you. Let's see if I can get this to work. Hang on, that's sort of impromptu. Let's see if I can get this to work for you. Um, if it doesn't bear with me, but yeah, so you get the app on on um, iPhone and Android as well. You can get the and Android app, so you get the Marvel movie logo, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see if it's it done. Marvel, Marvel Comics. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this to work. Um, let's see if you can see that. Um, just a little sniff, sniff there. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, let's put it down. Um, various pages. Like the front cover just gives you sort of like the recap of the last issue, kind of this is happening, blah blah blah. Um, and also throughout the issue, on certain panels, um, such as that great spread of Nemo, um, in the corner you get the AR symbol, which is augmented reality, and sometimes it's. You know, the writer coming through saying the inspiration for this was whatever, you know. Or you get the artist going, well, I took this image from whatever. Or it's kind of like the stages of, of from the sketch to the actual finished product and, I, and all the you know, all the stages in between. So it starts with the sketch, then the inked, then the coloured, and then the def definition passes through it. So, yeah, it's, it kind of makes comics a bit more interactive really but you know it's a comic book you read it you know and those of you who buy digital comics shame on you you should be you should have this in your hand really you know because there's nothing better than picking up a comic book you know going into a pub and reading it you know but the thing with this as well um I think this is happening with all Marvel books at the moment this is the only Marvel book I'm picking up at present because I'm waiting for the Ultron War um you get uh, code under a sticker there. You pull the code back. You put that into the Marvel website, and you can get download a digital copy for free. Uh, which, if I'm on the bus, you know, if I'm going somewhere, if I'm on the bus, then you know, sorry, on my phone. But I'd rather have the issue. You know, yeah, th I'm, I know this is not bagged and boarded yet, but I don't know. I need some more. So, also, I am getting. Um, this rather awesome series. Well, Transformers Regeneration 1. Oh, I've been waiting 22 years for this book. Here. You know, um, two nice covers. Uh, all the artists and all the creative team, well, apart from Guru Greedy, did the cover for that one. It's going to be at Auto Assembly, so I'm going to get them to sign those. That should be cool. Very good. Carries on the whole um, Marvel um, run. From issue 80, so this is this is what issue 81 would have been back in the day. You know, uh, the only the only letdown is they should have done. You know, it says issue 81, but then they should have done the UK style one with issue 333. I'd have loved that. That'd have been so fucking cool. But you know, that's just you know one of those things. We in the UK get fucking pissed on all the time. Like today. In America today, you can go and watch two episodes, two episodes of the, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Star Trek: Next Generation in the theatre for the Blu-ray release, and it's not happening in the UK. Thanks for that. Thanks so much. You know, as you all know, I'm a huge Next Generation fan, huge Star Trek fan as a whole, except the online movie shite. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, getting on to my next sort of topic. You know, I've not planned this, this is just fucking me just just rambling on. I'm also getting Star Trek The Next Generation Doctor Who crossover comic, which is very fucking good at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. It's it's both Doctor Who and Star Trek The Next Generation. It's fucking brilliant. 
I mean, I love the artwork. Um, let me just show you the section of the artwork. Um, if you're not picking this up, I would imagine I would tell you to go pick it up. If you're a Star Trek fan, pick it up. If you're not a Who fan, pick it up. You know, it's you know. Um, so the artwork is beautiful. Is fan fucking fantastic. I really do love it. You know, the kind of sort of whitewash kind of look to it. Sort of, you know, um, and the characters, the actors. They've got the actors' likeness so fucking well rendered. It's just unfucking believable. It's so a real good picture of it. Um, let's have a look. You know, right there with Rory. That is fucking, you know, Arthur Darville. You know, it, and and it, it, like I say, it feels like a doc this 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 is this year, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it feels like a Doctor Who story. The next issue feels like a next generation story. And it it they've got the characters fucking brilliantly. I wish I could get the um the retail incentive covers, but um my retailer fucking sold them out almost straight away. I was a bit disappointed, but never mind. But I mean I love the the, 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 the alternate covers, that is pretty cool. I would love that on a poster, that's pretty sweet. I mean, this is the kind of thing, never in a million years would I ever expect to see this, ever, you know. I mean, comics is the only sort of, you know, medium where this can happen. You know, I mean, Next Generation has been off the air since 1994, so, you know. But yeah, I mean, that's issue, the two covers for issue, the two normal covers for issue one, which is pretty quick, pretty sweet. Then we've got the two... Normal covers for issue two, and I love this one. So half Borg, half Cybermen, which is just fucking brilliant. And I love the fact that they've they've added the you can see the Cybermen antenna. It sort of marries up with a Borg wire, which is pretty cool. Um, that one's okay, but that's the better cover. I do like that one a lot. It's pretty cool. Now the next one, issue three. Um, it's come out this Wednesday. Just gone. I'm going to show you these individually because they're both awesome. I love that one. You know, the, um, the 70s Cybermen versus Captain Kirk. That is just fucking brilliant. And you can see in the background this Spock and the, and the Fourth Doctor. Which is just fucking brilliant. I really do like it. It just, it just fits so well. And this one, that is just fucking brilliant. It is a play on, let me find it. You know, the Star Trek First Contact DVD cover. It's just, you know, but with uh, the Doctor, Rory and Amy and the TARDIS and the few Cybermen at the bottom. Brilliant. Absolute masterstroke, that. I am really loving it. I'd like that as a poster as well. You know, um... But yeah, I think it's... It, like, like I've said, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to spoil it because I'm going to wait till I've read the whole series. Because I'll be getting the trade too. Um, then I'll be doing a review on it. Same with uh, X-Men... Uh, <laughs> then with uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. When I've read... Because that's got another... Ten issues, I think it is. And we're up to... So another two issues to go. It's issue, issue eight, or round eight. So when I've read them all, I'll do a proper review. And Star Trek Next Generation Doc Doctor Who is eight issues. So we're on issue three. So we've got five issues to go. So... But yeah, it's really, really good. I... So that's what I've been doing with my time, really. That and crying at Star Trek Online because I've just launched season six and I have login issues, so I can't log into my character, which is fucking pissing me off. And I'm waiting for them to get back. Anyway, I have rambled on way too long. And that rams. Um, I have rambled on way too fucking long. And. Oh, sorry, no. I did buy something the other week. I bought. The Green Lantern movie, Val Sinestro figure. Now, I wasn't going to buy these. I wasn't going to buy these for eight ninety nine when they first came to retail. I went to my local Poundland and got it for a quid. For a quid, I can't complain. But if I paid, you know, um, ten bucks for this, ten dollars, thought six, six, seven quid, I'd have been rightly pissed off. <laughs> Bloody fun. Yes, it's been Thundercats ring down. Um, yeah, like I say, a quid, you can't quibble, really. But, and, it, it, and the articulation is that and that, and that's pretty much it. 
no elbows and the, knee, and the legs do that. So it's a bit shit, really. But like I say, quid. Can't grumble. Anyway, I'm going to go. I am going to go this time. So thanks for uh, listening to me prattle on about bullshit. And I will catch you all later. I'm going to try and get a review done sometime this week. Um, I will do some Transformers. I might do it. I might even do me. That's my ringtone. I may even review this guy. I don't know yet. So anyway, I'll catch you all later. Toodly pips.